So we're down at Dover, the ground shaft, as appropriately named. Up at the drop redoubt, up at the top there, there's an open day today, so I uh, should be making a video. It's uh, only a fiver, it lasts for five or six hours, so it should be good fun. And this is where we'll be going today. Via the ground shaft staircase, which is only open for two open days uh, this weekend and again for a weekend in September. There's lots to explore up here, it's good fun, and there should be lots of events on in the actual drop redoubt. Not sure how clear this is going to come out, unfortunately. That's a long, long line of text. Right, anyway, let's get into the staircase. <laughs> and this is my uh, friend Wayne, who's appeared in a video a few years ago. And uh, he's all excited. <laughs> now, the funny thing is, we live uh, so close to all this area. But it's um, there's a team of volunteers that clean it all up, clear all the brambles, and trees, dead wood away and, uh, and then man this all voluntary so that a few weekends a year you can get in and have a look which is absolutely fantastic. Right, we shall let these people go first. Staircases there to my left and then into the central bit there's two more staircases. They all spiral round all the way up. If you look there until the very top. It is said that the staircases were for officers and their ladies, sergeants and their wives, and soldiers and their women. <laughs> yeah, someone's just having a race, a family of three are just having a race up there. But, uh, so we shall choose a staircase. We should choose this staircase and make our way up to the top. Second one. Yeah, sadly more people than the other one. There we go. Soon be out of breath. Quite sure how many steps there are. Should have done that step. <laughs> Mine's on my phone. Hopefully it's working because this is stabilised. Alright, time for the first rest. Came up there quite quick actually. <laughs> no, I am filming ahead of me. in the very top now. Yes, I'm out of breath. Oh <laughs> so 
there's that to see and there's the top of that ground shaft and even more steps are just done this is the old area of the barracks Napoleonic barracks the view of Dover Western Docks redevelopment from outside the Jotley Down. Another steep old climb. Everything for you. <laughs> that was a bit mean, isn't it? <laughs> just sat there having a picnic. <laughs> and the next thing she knows is in the middle of the parade. Standing in the right long place there. If you were in one of those tunnels, that would have been amazing. Oh. They had the echo of that wall behind them as well. <laughs> you can feel something in my leg. Eh? He's, I think he's trying to talk to her. No, so they're in for us now, not other things. <laughs> Oh, that one. Someone else will join in, I'm sure. Uh, young girl there, come on, quickly. And the 
podium, is it? Because they're the baddies. Well, they look baddies, the ones with the camera right there. Couldn't they trust to stand in line too deep? They relied on a column of troops. So a column is in line like that versus a line. And all over Europe, the French have been successful with great big massive columns of troops steamrollering their way through some rather shaky conscript uh, soldiers. But here they were against regular troops who volunteered, veteran soldiers a lot of them, who were quite prepared to stand in line two of two deep and fire two or three volleys. Face this great French steamroller who had been successful all over Europe. The one disadvantage of a French column is the only ones who could fire were the ones on the front or the flanks. And they were 40 deep by about eight or nine wide. So it was a very formidable looking block, but in fact they could bring fewer muskets to bear. So when the bullets fired, every musket would count. Right, I think we're just about ready now. Are the British already up there? Major the frog! Major GT! We are ready to advance! Vive la France! 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 Vive la Okay, Marshal, my comrade, Marshal, on the boat. Marshal.
saying that. Well, you just told the camera. <laughs> five years ago. we used to go and look at.
What was around the corner then, Wayne? What was around the corner? The door around the corner here. That's the uh, another uh, what's it? You just said. Uh, oh, another. Oh, that's the magazine. Yeah, two magazines. Now. That was for this one. Yeah. Okay. So these are. Tar- the holes in it. I can't actually make anything out yet. Buckets. Oh my god. Oh I get it, so that goes down just like the other one. Yeah you have haven't you because it's so easy trip. that just it says the main magazine yeah yeah so it's just that's all it is yeah listen to the not the first one of these not that's the first not the second third yeah. go and listen to it it's really cool yeah is that just dead end dead end yeah all right i don't know where the sound's coming from it's quite funny <laughs> I'm not going down again. Yeah, it was. <laughs> they saw us go in, so that's why they, that's why I said come back to that. Is it? Oh, I don't know. Yeah, so even these things, these little st- step things between rooms, mm-hmm. must cost them lots of, of made. <laughs> Officers' quarters, the cell blocks are right down the end, you say? We'll go down there next. These are officers' quarters, these are. Mm. Oh, yeah. Nice fireplaces. Just as they get more and more money, they do more and more of it up, don't they? That's pretty cool. Too 
Vance on or something? Mm-hmm. rooms and everything, didn't you? I'm sure. Yeah, last time I did this, I brought my walking pole, yeah. and it makes it really safe for me because I can judge the ground and stuff like that. Should have brought it today, really, but. <laughs> 